What's up guys, it's Preet coming back to you with another episode of Binding of Isaac. So, right now it is Sunday night. I decided to record Monday's episode right now just because I am pumped. I have been grinding this game out a little bit more than I probably should be right now. Um, yeah, so I think the last episode I uploaded, I had 367 achievements done. Now I have 382. So that means I have 21 more achievements to earn. Uh, so, it's going to be stuck on the screen, but I'm going to go look at this uh, external thing that tells me the achievements. What do I have left in the game? So, I have to kill a lot of people with Lost. Um, I have to defeat Mega Satan with every character. Um, and it's just be basically being everybody with Lost, being everybody with Keeper. And, let me see. I have to use uh, five one make you larger pills in one run which i've never done apparently uh i still need to do get five win streak in daily challenges so it's gonna be interesting sorry if you can hear my typing um i'm gonna see what the daily challenge is and i might just run it right now uh do 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 sorry i i probably should have looked at this Okay, yep, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a nice little daily run today, and this is the Sunday daily run, so let's get it going. So, um, yeah, I might have a little bit, not a cheat sheet, but I do have a, um, I do have a little thing on Reddit that tells you, like, what the daily runs are, because daily runs, as much as I love daily runs, and, like, they are fun to try to do, not legit, but they're... It's just something that I want an easy run for. I want to beat it. Uh, I I was on my fifth run and I first I was just tired. I was I don't remember why, but I was just not playing my best. So, like right there. Um, basically, it was my fifth run. It was supposed to be a super easy run. Reddit said um, they said that the sacrifice room got you a lot of stuff, and it was a for some reason I had curse of the unknown, which I don't know why they would do that, uh, but. I was dumb, and I might have maybe, perhaps, cut myself in the sacrifice room on floor one, and it was awful. It was so embarrassing. I, I literally was in the game for about three seconds, and I just killed myself. I was playing Magali, I think was the character that was for that day, and oh my gosh, it was it was something. I, I could not believe myself that I did it. Let's go see what else is in this cursed place. Okay. Let's go see if we can use the reroll machine. Angry fly sucks. And I do know what I'm going to get from the reroll roll machine, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Okay. That does suck. Let's go use the sacrifice room. I know I talked about the sacrifice room and said it was bad, but this be, uh, I, I like sacrifice room. Sacrifice room is fun. Uh, also, I knew there's a heart right here. I don't need full health to fight the boss unless it's a hard boss, which I don't think it is. Um, oh, maybe I should have just opened this up. That helps a lot. Okay, so we're going to go get the item. It's going to be Cricket's head. I know, people might be saying in the comments, oh, you're a fake, you're cheating, you're all this. I don't care what you're saying. I'm just trying to get my daily runs done. And I don't think it's illegitimate. It's an illegitimate. I don't think it's an illegitimate way to get your runs done. Uh, just because there are days, I usually just do it to check to see if, just to make sure it's not the lost. Because there's days that's lost with no holy mantle and you have to make it to Mega Satan. And there's no reason that should be a daily run. And so I've lost many daily runs. And this is, I've been trying to do the daily thing, run thing completely legit without checking it. But literally, I would get my runs ruined day three, day four, even day five with lost runs. Because they like putting those in. And good, good stuff, floor one. Um, so, let us continue. So, there is a bad item in the item room. <laughs> so, I'm not going to even go in there. It's Bucket of Lard, which some people don't like. I don't mind it, but if you have a low movement speed... 
speed character, it is pretty garbage. So, uh, one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Uh, sorry, I don't know. I, I'm really bad at this game. I don't know what items do. Uh, I know it's, it's Child's Heart that I have, right? Yeah, I have Child's Heart. So I have a higher chance to find red hearts. I don't know if I really need that because... I hope to not have to use red hearts. Uh, luckily, I don't have to get an or do angel runs for this run, or angel rooms for this run because I already just have um, the key. Let's see. Uh, this gets my damage up a good amount. And we'll come back here if we get any more red red heart health. I will, I guess, take this back since I guess I want red heart health if I'm going to be doing that. Also, oh, so much damage. Samson is amazing when it comes to damage. He is about 3 million damage, approximately. Especially with Cricket's head. Oh my gosh, he is just wonderful. So we'll just try to kill him immediately. Get this boy immediately. Okay. Sorry if I stop. It's because I'm reading my cheat sheet. Uh, because I'm a big cheater. So. If anybody wants to roast me down in the comments, have at it. Oh, I'm so dumb. I, I guess I kind of deserve that. Okay, so let's take what's in the belly button. Safety scissors, I don't care. So. Okay, that's a full health. So let's go back to the donation machine. I'm gonna try to play this quick because I do know what's gonna happen. Um, it's two Mega Satan, which I hate Mega Satan fights sometimes. So, goal is just to make it a quick ish run. So HP up, that's full health, very nice. Uh, and I'm gonna go to the item shop real quick, I think. So let's see what's in here. I probably should have taken chaos, that might have just ruined my entire run, but <laughs> Let's run it. <laughs> I love chaos. I always take chaos because chaos is a treat. You can get some dumb, dumb, dumb synergies with it. And now that I have full health, it's going to be or full health pill. I can save that for a long time and just get dumb, dumb damage at some point um, or at any point. Okay. But now that I took that damage, I am a loser once again. Uh, I it, it is nice having this much damage. Okay. I need to make better choices with my life. Okay. Focus on the dark worms first. Because we don't like... The dark worms because they can be preposterous sometimes. Okay. I need to keep my controller below the table so you guys can't hear it as much. I I I always have it like in sight of the microphone, and that just causes loud noises to just come out of it. So. Yeah, I've been playing a lot today, a lot yesterday. I've been playing so many greedier runs. I finally got Blue Baby done, and then after that, it was just run after run after run. Of I did Lazarus, I did Lilith, I did Forgotten. I then did Forgotten and get got Delirium done. I got Delirium done with 
all sorts of characters. It was, I've just been having a very good day of Isaac. Um, not super OP runs, just runs that were easy enough that I could just not die to bosses. Especially the Delirium fight was really close. I had about one health left. Um, yeah. Okay, not fun. Good fun. I hate that there's two different pyros in this game and that one of them doesn't do anything. Uh, AK, this one doesn't do anything. It gives you fiery bombs and that is useless. Okay. I don't know if that fire will hurt me. I think it's my own fire, so it shouldn't hurt me, but... We're not gonna attempt the fate of this game because this game can be rude. Uh, I know I'm a dirty cheater. I saw that on the <laughs> I saw that on the <laughs> the cheat sheet. So, let's see, nothing good in here at all. So we'll take, we'll get out of here, go to the next floor, and just go. I love having high damage runs like this. Oh, I hate, Brimstone is a really weird hitbox sometimes, especially with this boss. I've saw, seen it a lot where, like, by the time I process it, it's the the shot is near me but it's not actually touching me um i'll definitely take this i don't need to fight the angel so i won't and i will go to the next floor um let's see for this one okay I think my skill since uh, the beginning of the series has gone up, not crazy amounts, like right there, that sucked. I don't know if I could really have done anything about that. I was just in a weird spot. Okay. So let's see what this does. We'll go in here real quick. Greed fight, easy. Hopefully it's a steam sale, please, game. So basically the... the list I'm going off of really doesn't matter anymore because none of these items will be the same. I'm pretty sure. I think chaos affects that. Don't know why I took that. Don't take pills, boys. So, in these kind of rooms, always go for black poop. Black poop does mega damage to everybody. So, like, one shot this guy. One shot this guy. Don't get hit by his dumb tears. I'm so good at going straight to the boss room, but that's not something I want to be good at. The first thing I want to go to is the item room, because once if you find the boss room first, that means you have to backtrack and backtrack and backtrack, and then just hate yourself for the rest of the game because you're taking so long. Luckily, it's not like a... Are there any daily ones that are just like you have to go to hush or something that are... Does it give you like an automatic hush fight, or is it one of those things that you do have to actually speed run slightly? Because I've been messing up so much lately with uh, going to Hush. Because you have to get to Mom's Heart in 30 minutes, which I never realized. I just usually got Hush because it's really not hard to beat Mom's Heart that fast. But with Forgotten, it took me a sec. Because Forgotten really is not the most powerful guy. I think Forgotten was probably like one of my least favorite characters so far. What's nice about um, Keeper is at least he has like... He has decent mechanics. And so like the main thing is you just have to get a good run with him with forgotten you have to get a good run but his mechanics also suck so you just have to be be mlg pro or get an amazing run which i got mom's dagger because i used chaos and was able to get um mom's dagger in a shop which was very nice which is why i like chaos um that's the part about chaos is it allows you to get devil items and like everywhere but that's not exactly the best thing i guess because it can also make you get just dumb items everywhere. So, like, devil deals are no longer even worth going into, really. 
there's no good like good devil devil deals maybe there still can be i guess but okay oh my gosh i don't want anybody talking about what just happened um reasonable evil that's gonna be not something i actual take but i will keep iv bag i'm keeping iv bag because i am in a position where i could basically just get almost infinite health Or not infinite health, Ugh, infinite money. Okay, I need to really focus up here. I need to find a shop so I can buy health, actually. That'd be really sick. When fighting mushrooms, just fight the guys that are moving first, then you can deal with the other idiots. I'm just gonna blow this guy up immediately get coins hopefully use it on the next shop um i don't think yeah if you take a uh, skull red heart damage skull heart red heart damage i don't think it counts as damage so let's bank on that oh is the shop down here oh it was greed it was i'm um, dumb i'm taking way too long on this floor let's hope it's somebody semi easy okay husk one of the easier, easier bosses we could have asked for. And we get this back, and we get Celtic Cross, which is not the worst item, not the best item. It is just a decent item. Um, I guess there's nothing really to check anymore for this. Uh, <laughs> for this, since I just kind of ch changed everything up by having a uh, chaos. I knew as soon as I grabbed it that I might have regretted it because, on this, on this uh cheat sheet it does tell you if the run's gonna be like it the guy's like yeah it's a pretty easy run um it's a streak safe run and this is a streak safe run or at least it was uh i still have good damage good everything i just need to take a little bit less dumb damage which i'm really good at taking especially when i'm recording so it's it, it, I'm, I'm dumb i'm dumb Okay, first off, let's get one of these red flames away, just so I don't have to deal with that. Sick. Easy. Okay. Okay. Distract him. Make him shoot. Distract him. Make him shoot. Distract both of these boys. Make them shoot. I don't understand why these guys lock on so quickly. Like, it's not a... It's a better thing for me that they lock on so quickly, but it just seems like... Pew! They just lock on extremely quickly. It makes it easier to do stuff with them. Um, my that brings up something that makes me mad in this game. It's when it's finding those like skeleton boys that have to pop up. Sometimes you'll just be waiting and they will never, I mean never, pop up. Oh, geez. I was going to not play this because I didn't think it was going to pay out, but it did pay out enough. Okay. Hollow. Is this hollow? I don't think this is hollow. This is a part of Larry Jr. I don't know who he is. He's like this weird guy. I think that might be Husk Part 2. Oh, I'd be so cool if you get multiple uh, small rocks in a run. I'd be very appreciative. It'd make the game so much easier. And like that, we're maxed out on health. That's what we like to see sometimes. These guys are pretty dumb. They like to uh, block each other a lot. And by a lot, I mean not a lot. But whenever you're in a smaller room, it seems like more time, more often than not, they'll like block each other and just commit seppuku. I hope that I'm, when I say commit seppuku, it's not uh, seen as offensive. I say that because I don't, I, I don't think it's a... Uh, appropriate to say the uh, other version of that so i'm trying to be uh more respectful which i might just be being not respectful so if anybody's offended by that please let me know i'm not trying to offend anybody i'm just trying to stay a little bit more pg in this chat speaking about that wolverine or 
Is it Wolverine origin story or what movie is it where um Oh no, it's um whoa. it's one of the Wolverine movies. It's like the last Wolverine movie they made. But it's the one where he goes to Japan and he's like he's like in Hiroshima whenever the nuke goes off. Such a it's a cool scene. Um very well done. And once again, I find this area before I find the item room. I don't know how I do it. I feel like the chances of doing that multiple times in a row are very not good. I want to kill this guy really fast. Please. There we go. I've really not learned that much since playing uh, these for hours these last days. I, I feel like I'm just actually losing brain cells and I actually just am realizing I suck at this game. Um, when it came to Greedier, I found it was just for me just about resetting. I would just, if it, if it was not a good starting item, especially the blue baby, it had to be a tears up item or like a damage up item. One time it was so nice. It was a, sh uh, a shuffled. I actually had a shuffled run that was really bad. Then I immediately restarted and it was another shuffled run. Shuffled runs are so good. Um, if you can get a damage up and a tier rate up, which I got the second time. And so it was just like starting off. I just felt invincible. For these guys, try focusing on one because two of them are dumb. Also, when they jump in the air, never go towards the wall. Stay in the middle of the room because they take a long time to actually do anything. How is it that there's only one rolling and I still found a way to suck? Okay, angel room right here. Oh, or devil room. Bob's brain. Okay. Please give me... Wait, can I... Will I get Lump of Coal or Krampus' head? I feel like boss drops are specific and they can't change. I might be completely wrong, and I probably am completely wrong. Also, does he always spin counterclockwise? Or do you just spin clockwise? I think, oh, I think that answered my question. Okay, good. He always drops his boss drop item. I'm... I was pretty confident about that because I think I've had that happen before. Uh, like, Schmoop. Schmoop, is that what it's called? Whatever that is. It's like Schmoop or some weirdness like that. Um, and, like, less than three. Those are all items that are specifically dropped by a boss. Um, or you can also find them in the item pool, but they are... I don't know why I didn't try to do that more. Okay. Full up on health. Good. So, let's distract both these boys. Wow, I'm so, like, tempted just to, like, peek out and go grab some health. Um, I think what I'm going to do for this week is probably do my daily runs. Uh, if it's, if it's a easy one. I, I know that sounds like, that sounds like a lame kind of thing to do. But, I think that'll be my plan because, really, all I have left is Keeper and Lost. And those are not going to be fun runs to watch unless I get a good run. So, I might just... Just be warned that there might be some episodes where they just start in the middle of the episode. Um, because I could see myself just doing that because it would be easier. Because I, I, I want to make sure it's a good run. Uh, no, I can't take that. I definitely will not take that. Also, that is not something I want. Neither is that. That is good. Holy Grail, I will take. F getting a f oh, getting flying with any character is the move. <laughs> um, flying just makes everything so much easier because creep is something that I take so much damage from. I did not realize it, but especially when you get into like womb, Woomba, it's damage galore. Right here, easy. Okay, I'm not gonna grab that. I want the game to actually give me good items if it's gonna have a dumb chest like that. Imagine like using like hangman or something and like going through all the effort to go out to that chest just to get that singular item. Maybe it's a good item. I, I don't know. I don't I just know they spawn flies and I don't like spawn flies. I don't like spawn flies. 
Okay. It's just one at a time. You gotta you gotta focus you gotta focus them. This is you just have to not freak out when you get to these kind of rooms. We're going the wrong way with these. Okay. Yeah, just make sure you stay calm. Just kind of think like, okay. There's one on the edge, and they'll all start shooting as soon as you walk in front of them, usually. Unless you move like way too fast or they don't have time to like really understand that you're moving. So be methodical, try to get them all to shoot at the same time um, and make them shoot straight. That way you can just run to the side and get an easy setup. I'm not going to do that. Okay, I have already gotten to the item room this time. So, oh wow. I am decently tired uh, when I record this, uh, but I don't, I don't know. Is there anybody else out there who just doesn't like going to sleep like early? Okay, okay, okay. We need to like not keep doing this. I don't understand what's happening right now. Am I not just doing damage at all? Okay, this is getting ridiculous how much health I'm losing here. That was absolutely ridiculous. Okay. Wow, that was big dumb stuff by me i'm sorry whoever is watching this that was ridiculous how much damage i just took in that room those white skulls just really like messing up i get my my tiny my tiny simpleton brain gets so confused and overwhelmed by those i'm just like oh there's moving objects better die if i would have died in that room I, there's no there's not really a possibility of me dying in that room i would say I mean, there always is a possibility of you dying in any room. But my main concern was taking red heart damage. I hate delaying the inevitable. Okay, so blow, blow this up. We'll take this. Oh, wow, I didn't... I for, oh, wow. Oh, Book of Belial. Okay, so. I'm going to take. I don't think I'm going to take any of that. Uh, I was going to take Book of Belial to get damage up, but I do just realize that I do have something that can just get me, like, unlimited damage. I can also. I also have something that can get me unlimited. Oh. Unlimited money, not unlimited money. Uh, I don't like any of this. Bumbo sucks sometimes. Okay, I'll take this just because. Wait, do I have any? Oh no, I don't have any more item rooms. I'm dumb. I'll take this as well. Okay. With that, I will pick up this and hope that I find more hearts later on. Um, I'm full on soul hearts, and by hope I find hearts, I know I'll find hearts because they're just over this way, on the way back. Okay. So, there we go. F we're at full health again. We can go fight the boss with 22 damage. And the reason, okay, why I want to keep the IV bag is because now I can just literally use the IV bag a bunch before, like, Mega Satan or anything and get just insane damage. I have basically unlimited damage is, I think, what I was trying to say earlier. Not unlimited money. Um, like, right now, this is just dumb how much, how much damage I can put out. I guess I'll pick this up. Thanks, Angel Room. Okay. So, let's go. My goal is probably to be basic. I'm going to take every single time I find a red heart, I'll probably just uh, do some self damage until. Do they, does he always launch to the right? What a dude. Yeah, these guys can't extend their heads over rocks. I kind of just figured that out in my head, but <laughs> cool stuff.
Oh wow, I took damage from that. Yeah, okay. I was like, am I about to lose all my hearts? I knew I wasn't after like a couple like seconds actually using my brain. I don't understand why nine lives. I get I guess it's you get the luxury of being able to come back to life a bunch of times. Um, for like losing all your all your hearts. Ooh, I'd love to get Guppy. That'd be sick. I don't okay, those guys were the scary ones. Oh, just like this guy. Okay. Oh, let me go up here. I should wait till for full red hearts, but I cannot be bothered. I'm just trying to go quicker now that I can. Okay. I'm putting myself in the in the the hard the hard lines. Um, uh, what floor am I on? I don't even know. Oh, I'm on floor seven. One sec. Dark room. Somehow this guy got a Joker card. I don't know how he did that. How he managed such a feat. I don't... There's certain characters or enemies I don't know whose idea it was to bring into this game. Like, these guys right here are such a nuisance. I guess they do add, like, a good amount of challenge into the game, but I don't want challenge in this game. I, want, I just want to have fun, play, play some gaming with my good old buddy Isaac. I've not played an Isaac run in so long. I miss Isaac. I miss playing that. That son of a gun. Okay. Oh no, we're gonna... Oh, there we go. Just take easy damage, you know. That's what we like to see. One thing that's dumb is if you try to go under his t his like tail thing, you'll take damage. Like, there's no reason to try to go under him, but like if he if he's going low like that, it's so dumb. He takes so much damage for no reason. Relic is gonna be decent. It's gonna be a nice item to have. It's just gonna let us have guaranteed soul hearts every four rooms, which just means don't take more than a soul heart of damage every four rooms. Which with a room like this, they really are trying to mess you up. We have good, just everything right now. Decent damage. I want to say this is a one run in the slightest yet. Uh, health wise, one ish run. Okay. Yeah. I want to find more red hearts. Because what I, what's nice about this is his stat up goes through the entire floor. Which is just nice. It's nice to have. It's nice to have. Um, One of the reasons I decided to record tonight is I, I usually record not first that like pretty much first thing when I wake up and that is not fun for anybody to have to listen to me as soon as I wake up I feel like that's the reason why I don't talk as much um and I that's another reason why I kind of want to do daily runs is with daily runs I can I have a little bit more I can expect a little like what's going to happen a little bit more so I don't have to be as stressed out and I kind of kind of just be like coasting off of other people's skill and make myself look slightly better you know that's I feel like that's how most players like great video game players are they actually don't have skill they just coast off of others so I'm trying to i'm trying to be like the greats i think I, I will be just like the greats one day ace of hearts not in a in, in a million lifetimes game actually not worth Ooh, but worth because i took damage I want all the bombs I can get. Um, so yeah, Mega Stance should be, I would say, honestly, like, laughably, 
not laughably easy, but like being able to get myself to like 20 damage immediately. Um, I would, I know I'm, I will be in situations where I will be able to take damage like immediately off right off the rip. So very scary. Also, one thing I learned is never get like stompy with flying. It's just, it, it ruins the point of having flying. Especially if like, once you get into womb, you forget that you have stompy and you try to fly over some nice scenery and then you just get massively, massively wrecked in the butt. You know, that's what they say. I think that's something that JP would appreciate if he heard right now. But he's off fighting the good fight. Gotta take it. What can I say? I'm kind of a pro. Oh. No use to doing this. I could get a good payout from it, but I don't really care as much. And I want to save the full health for when I really need it. Okay. I'm kind of surprised I'm not finding... Um, what am I trying to say? The fact that I'm not finding red hearts at all, even though I have child's heart. Anybody might be wondering why I'm not using, like, the IV bag sooner and trying to, like, get more damage. Just, I, don't, I really don't feel too threatened right now. I know that I can... I can't leave this room after this fight. I don't think... Wait, can you? I can't remember if you can. I usually never leave the room after the fight. This is, like, the, the tiers that I usually take damage from the most. Yeah, right there. Is that even a question? Uh, I don't take Mom's Knife. Mom's Knife makes the runs almost too easy, which I know I probably should take if it's going to make the run easier. But look at that. 12 damage off the rip. That's big stuff. Spectral Tears would be really nice, though. Um, actually, yeah, I probably should have taken the knife because that would make things so much easier. Then you have to wait. Then you can go. One thing I find very confusing is... Not confusing, but it's it's weird. They don't tell you what direction to go um, in like the little cheat sheet. Oh, watch this! What, look at what I can do. That right there's already like two damage up just from running through there. So I'm going to do this because now that I see this, I can now run back over here, back in here, back through here, then back out, more damage up. And that's what we're looking for. And for the, for the actual memes, I in the back of my head, I don't have enough um, luck to actually have that be any use. Having minus one luck makes it very not useful. I guess it doesn't make it completely useless, but it's not the best. High tier rate, high damage, high high energy time right now. I'm very excited about this run. It makes me very happy. Of course, it's kind of a cheesed run. It is a daily run, which daily runs are usually rigged slightly. But, but... I did get chaos, so it's not exactly as rigged as it should be. I'm guessing, um, with, since they offer chaos in the first item shop like that, it, they probably have a set, set items that they change to. I'd not be surprised if that was the case. Okay. You know what? I'm going to do this. What the heck? Why did I get so much there we go this is how we play this game oh. okay listen I get it you're just trying to play along with the game I'm creating the game of me hurting myself but I'm the only one who hurts myself 
I should be dropped a soul heart one of these rooms. Where's the soul heart relic? I really feel like I should be getting more stuff. My my bro's angry right now. Thanks, game. Okay. So, now we're on our way to fight the big bad devil boy himself with 28 damage. I wonder how high I can get my damage. I might try doing that. Oh, there's red health in here. Sick. I'm not going to damage myself because that just lets me do more stuff. Three Mississippi, two Mississippi, something like that. Yeah, I don't know the last time I've actually successfully done that. I don't know the last time I successfully even, or not successfully, but the last time I really even tried doing that. Should I go get another soul heart in a second? No, I'll probably get soul hearts, right? Right, game? Okay. Uh, I am going to go back and... No, I'm not going to grab soul hearts. Hopefully the chest is nice and drops me soul hearts. Nope. Okay, so... Okay, I'm max, max health right now. This should be an easy fight. I'm not too concerned. 28 damage, 7 tier rate. Just basically, I do, I do damage. Is all this game needs to know at this point. So now I need to cross over at some point. Maybe, game. Thank you. Let me destroy this hand real quick. I hate tears like that. Those, are, as I think I've said this before, but like random tears are some of the the dirtiest tears they they do you dirty they really get you sometimes like i can i can go on like a basically no hit run and then those things they are scary i just want to destroy his horsey did i do it oh there we go I don't exactly understand the the whole damage thing with, with Satan. I know that it seems like if you do less damage, it takes less damage to him to actually get him to the next stage. The only part that actually seems like he has like a set health is the, um, the skull version of him. It seems like he has set health. I might be wrong, but it just seems that way. It just seems very sus. Kill this guy. Get his dumb troll bombs out of here. I'm kind of a... This is kind of a good run. Okay, kill this guy first. Troll bomb's not nice. Except when they kill <laughs> the other boss that's spawned. One sec. I got an itch to the top of my head. I'm sorry about that. Uh, so there's a chance that I will... This, this No matter what, this is going up tomorrow... Um, I do want to talk about my 30th episode that was supposed to go out Friday. So I don't know what's what's wrong with my YouTube lately, but I've had many issues where like stuff just didn't upload. Um, when it came to Monday's episode, that was me being dumb. Uh, I kind of turned my computer off before it actually uploaded, which that was completely my bad. But then on Friday, I got my episode out. It was, it was all ready to go. It's, everything was fine. But then all of a sudden, it just... The game was just like, nah, we're not having this. And it decided that it did not want me to be happy with what was happening in life. So um, it, it paused on 95% processing. And I, I cried. I cried a lot. And so basically, I thought it was going to fix itself. thought it was going to fix itself. Um, I think I... Did I go out Friday? I don't remember what happened Friday. But nothing was fixing itself. And so basically Saturday, I left it all night to see if it would finally finish processing. It did not finish processing, so 
that's that's somehow just how it goes. Um, so that's two daily runs done. Um, I know I said I was gonna do this all this week, and that means since you're asking why are there two done, I already did one because I'm a loser who doesn't stick to his plans. Uh, but yeah, the video was stuck on 85% pr pro or processing. I could not figure out why. I tried re-uploading it and left my computer on to let it upload all night, basically, just because it was take For some reason, the second time, it took like two hours. Um, and so then the next day, still, there's issues. And if anybody knows the reason why it gets stuck on that or how to fix it, I looked it up on YouTube and people were like, X out of the tab. That did not help. So basically, I uploaded it completely without a description or a title, and that seemed like it helped it out. I, I didn't put like any like put it in any playlist, and then once it was done like with all of its processing, I then put a playlist, all that kind of stuff. I don't know if that made a difference, but that's the reason why that episode was late. But that was still within the week, so there was five episodes last week. Um, it was kind of all fine and dandy in the end, but that is it. Sorry, I'm burpy right now. That's it for episode 31. I hope you guys are enjoying... Sorry. Enjoying the series. Love you guys. This has been Preets. Peace out. Bye.